A few days ago, I uploaded part one of my Project Blitz video where we looked at some rare dunks, Air Force Ones, and much, much more. Today, we are going into the Project Blitz vault. This is where they have some of their rarest and craziest sneakers in the entire inventory, from player exclusive to samples to stuff nobody has ever seen before. There is rare sneakers from the floor all the way to the ceiling. It even fell on us. I know you oh, oh my God. Wow, uh, that's blooper reel right there. <laughs> Before we get into part two of the Project Blitz video, guys, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up. That will let me know that you wanna see more videos at Project Blitz and you wanna see more sneaker collections in the year 2021 because I'm trying to bring those back. Also, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this video, what sample shocked you the most, and what shoe do you wish you had in your collection? I guess it's time to get into part two, so let's just get it started. All right, guys, so we are in the Project Blitz vault right now. If you watched the last video, we looked at the regular warehouse, but this room right here is worth a lot of money. Possibly stuff I can't put on camera. I'm gonna try to persuade him to let me put it on camera, but we'll see. But um, yeah, I've, I've shown this place before, but it's been over a year and a half since I've been here. So there might be new stuff, but even if I've shown it to you guys before, I still want to look at it again. So I guess we just start digging in. What is this? This is a uh, Bibby. Oh yeah, Mike Bibby's. I know the young kids don't appreciate this. Look at me, I'm an OG now. I'm calling people young kids. <laughs> <laughs> Another pair of Bibby's. Bibby's, yeah. Those ones. Oh, well, that's Kevin Martin. I thought that was a Bibby too, but no, this, this is Kevin Martin when he was on the Kings Ooh. too. Purple Cop going Martin crazy good. today, right? Yeah, these are hard, man. Look at these Bibby lows, the nines, and then the Kevin Martins. He was pretty good. Damn, these are fire. I love 12 PEs. I love. I mean, since we're going with purple. Sean Marion. Yep. Yep, Sean Marion. I love those nice. just because of the color, right? I wish they'd still made like retro PEs for all the new players like Luca, Zion, but they're just giving them 35 and 34s. Like give them some retros. Like the last good one they did was like a, the Westbrooks, which are right there. The threes. What are these? This is an off-white sample? Dude, that's the first off-white Nike that they made. No way. Look how small the little tab is right there. Yeah, like what? if you look at both shoes together, the heels are different. Yeah, so, that, that was the first thing I noticed. Oh, yeah, the double air. So I was like, mind The tag on here, the tongue. This is a complex con one. Well, the well, complex like, one yeah. they made after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The off on the so tongue. Only Virgil and uh, and Nike exec ha had this shoe. How much would something like this cost? Because the, the regular ones go for crazy amounts now. Like I remember, I bought hers for like what, 700? 700. Now they're going for like three, 4,000. Well, we'll do a special for your viewers. If you have anyone out there that's like a crazy sample collector, it's a size nine. Should we do 20,000? We'll do 20,000. 20,000? 20,000. Pull up. Some LeBron's, bro. This is a LeBron's actual shoe. Yeah, huh? this is a one of one. This is straight chrome, chrome. Look at that. How do you get into LeBron's closet? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I had a, I had a pigeon uh, fly those over. Those Fine. were the Yankee, Yankee sevens. Yeah. If anybody wants to buy these, hit me up. I'm selling them. <laughs> I'm getting commission. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. okay to go revisit these. Yeah, those are sick. So that's Ye's first Nike ever made. College, College dropout. Drop 180. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one of the ones he wore in the Glow in the Dark tour. Wow. wow. So this is the first one that he was wearing at like all the shows. It's like more white on the back. Yeah, here, you want to compare? Damn, look at that color difference on the sock liner. Yeah. The whole gray. But even this is a sample, no? Yeah, because the release pair all came out orange like that, but they all faded. So yeah. whatever reason, the the first promo pairs, they the orange never faded. Yeah. Like even the one I wore, because I got seated at that time. Thank you, Nike, for blessing me with that. Mine still, even after all these wears, is still orange. But the ones that actually released started fading into yellow. Yeah. Even the mm. strap, the strap has the little Ys on it. This one is, and obviously oh, this man, one. this one is so fire. I wish they actually released this colorway. The challenge red. So freaking sick. Like these two right here, man. Imagine if Nike retros this. You know which other one I want to see? We can't put on camera still? <laughs> not yet. Not oh, yet. Oh, man. That's the one. Not yet. These went up crazy too, huh? Pigeon dunks. And the Freddies. Oh, yeah. Freddy dunks. So you know about the story of these? Yeah. They scrapped them, right? Yeah. They scrapped them and then they... The first pairs they they try to um <clears throat> they're supposed to be destroyed so they they oiled them so like one side is like oiled mm. and the other side isn't and i paid <clears throat> back then was 400 bucks so i still have this pair <laughs> that i bought off a, 
uh, some guy that leaked them out of a out of a factory when they were supposed to be destroyed on eBay years ago. That's the only place that everyone was getting them from. Yeah. And then they released just a few pairs with boxes in Mexico of all places. Mm -hmm. We have one in the box, like from from the actual that Mexico release. How much is how much are these worth now? Like thirty. Yeah, 25, 30 grand. Yeah, I kind of want to wear it, break these out right now. I never did, but you know what I mean? They're dead Would stock? you wear these if you paid 400 bucks? Yeah, know. hell yeah. I Knowing mean. how much they're worth, though. If you never plan to sell it, right? Like, yeah. would you ever sell this? I don't know, because we have a couple other pairs, so it's like... For that sell. price? For that price, I would wear it, especially this one. It says, I kind of like the oiled side. Look at that. Yeah. It's kind of sick, I do, right? too, actually. Yeah, that one does. It's it's good that they put a little bit here, too, but that one is hard. This, these went from, like, 850 to now $60,000. That's so so crazy that's my favorite shoe of all time it means too much to me yeah this literally was like the make it or break it where i was like okay do i stay in in sneakers or am i just done that was like a long time ago and i guess we, we are here today yeah, yeah. Because of that. so <laughs> two shoes almost a hundred thousand right yeah sorry <laughs> throw those in there and it's like what's your favorite jordan silhouette the 17 what was it no <laughs> hell no the first jordan i ever had was a 13 so i mean the 12 so i always appreciated the 12 but like silhouette wise the one, one. i mean you can't go wrong with the one are you able to take two hands and open them at the same time maybe yeah actually i think i could so you can see what the hell is going on here <laughs> oh i actually saw these last time I saw the whole pack last time when you did had you it. yeah i did when you had all you freshly got them like you had all of them but this one right here this and the wow. 11 the 12 is hard too but that's beautiful. This is freaking it looks beautiful. Looks like a freaking Grammy. So this was made for a female athlete, right? Track athlete. Yeah. yeah. Dude, these are That's so sick. hard. Oh, it's my size. <laughs> it's my size, bro. Oh my god. Well, maybe if you run for president of Afghanistan, you can, <laughs> you can buy this set. And... <laughs> oh my god. Wow. And this one it like looks more like of a hot pink type of vibe. Yeah, it does. Yeah, they're infrared. Yeah, dude. She okay, got nice. blessed by Jordan with the whole pack. They didn't just give her one or two PEs. They made her a whole set. I remember she had them at, on display at a sneaker con too. Oh my God, bro. Two differences. Right. Ray Allen. With the ring, Miami Heat. You don't have the, the Celtic one, huh? I have a Celtic one, but it's not green. Because you know the Celtics always wore black shoes. This is a Ray Allen? This is Ray Allen for the finals. I haven't seen this one. This is a very like controversial shoe at the time. Why I had is to that? keep that one under wraps just like that other one for like several years. Damn. Apparently they only made two. The bottom two with the gold on there. Is this a baby or no? This is a Chris Paul. This is just that just was just a... made for MJ. Wow. Come on. You know, uh Jordan likes he like Michael Jordan likes purple. Yeah. And he likes burgundy, like cherry wood. Oh really? You know, like the cherry wood sixteen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like all those things. So that's why they made kind of had things ones. like that. Yeah. yeah. They're kinda like the the purple's disintegrating. But those are like original from nineteen ninety eight. Fourteens are sick, dude. Because he was the first Jordan brand athlete, right? Yeah. When the Kings had the retro jerseys. The white and blue one? Yeah, white, blue with red trim. Wow. Have any, like, athletes hit you up like, yo, you have my old PE. Like, what's up? Like, can we get those back? No, I was kind of... I was kind of wishing I could get in touch in with Mike Bibby though, but uh, when he was on the on the Grizzlies, remember that? Yeah, that's a sick colorway. Yeah. What Don't mind this? the box, but... Ooh. Mitch Richmond. Wow. The straps are like broken now since they're because they're like super old the shoes. Yeah. That orange. It's crazy to think that these are twenty years old now. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. There's one Jordan athlete that had some pretty underrated PEs from the Warriors, Michael Pietris. He had some, Oh yeah. He had some good ones. Yeah. And people sleep on it. It's impossible to find. They only made him a few, but he was a Jordan brand athlete. Did you ever see the original sample elevens? Oh no, I don't think I've seen those ones. Yeah. That looks like the colorway they released not the too 72 long ago. Seventy-two ten. Yeah. So the seventy-two ten colorway is made based on the first original samples. Wow. Look at the sole. Oh, what the hell? Sure. It looks like baby blue right My there. My boy Randy has the other the other version that was a one earlier sample with the the whole complete sole. Then they made this one with that weird herringbone. Yeah. And then they came out with the final product. I mean, I like that I one like better, that, but yeah, of course, too. right? Yeah. This looks like it'll have good grip too, but look so at this that. is like when they were testing in like '93. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Right? Let's we'll look at the Kobe's. Yeah, the Kobe's let's pull those out because that's the pair you actually played in, right? Yeah. Damn, bro. And I feel special for having the... Did you get the pack? You have one of those I packs? only have the eight. Oh, the, you got the eight from the pack? Yeah. I have the box, the eight, and I don't have the three. Playing against Jordan. And he did that crazy dunk, and then he was, like, helping Jordan off the, the court. How much would somebody have to offer you to take those out of here? <sighs> Bro, 
like like heavy like house money yeah you know what i mean and cali houses are expensive so, <laughs> you know yeah dude i mean you saw what like a, a simple jordan one that that he wore went for right like knowing that there's barely any Kobe's out there, especially the Jordans that he wore and, and uh, signed and played and in. he passed. Yeah. I mean, truthfully, I want to find any reason not to ever sell this. This is like something to, to preserve. Even these right here, these are the Kobe PEs too, right? The 11s. Yep. A lot of people don't even know about that. Yeah, I know you've seen these, but <laughs> oh yeah, those... wifey never seen these. Yeah, that's the one right there. He's not going to know what it is. Some, someone's 11. It's someone's 11? Somebody Jordan. wore that? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? He actually wore these? In the movie Space Jam. Oh, that's sick. Yep, that's the actual movie pair. It's a movie prop right there. That's crazy. And it ended up in the vault. Yeah. So we're going to do something special with these. But yeah, this is something like you kind of, you never want to, you never want to like uh, part ways yeah, with, exactly. right? But yeah. But this one, based as, you know, like everything else, it's like mega, it's up there. I yeah. just watched Entourage for the for very the first, first time. time. Can you believe Really? You During quarantine, it? yeah. No way. Yeah, so I was like, oh, that's the one. Because I know Turtle. like Perfect Pair had the gold joints. Mm -hmm. Fukijamas? Is that what they call them? Yeah, right? Fukijamas. Yeah, shout out to uh, Chicks with the Kicks. I was able to like get these from them. The green's my favorite one. So They're sick. the green, the purple, and the orange. One I want the favorites. orange one, bro. They're freaking retroing the purple one. You saw that? I don't care. I still want them. They they retroed the metallic purple before. Yeah. I mean, with the jump man, but... Loki, I like it with the cracking, too. It just adds character. Yeah. But you can't really like wear this because it's just going to eventually all crack off. Do you remember these, buddy? <laughs> we did a trade. I do remember those. What's your opinion on these? You think this is an even trade or Dude, what? Dude, what the f is this, man? What? Are you kidding me? They're not. Bro, these are not worn twice. We're not asking who's winning because we're going to do it. We're okay. saying, is this an even trade? Is it an even trade? I say no. This I shoe is much better right now. Better condition, higher value. It's not coming out of my personal, it's coming out of the vault. This? Long term, you, can do a little play you won on. long term. No, those the shoes that I got no, are, are worthless now. Well, you did on camera say that you owed me for this, yeah. But we're not gonna make you come out of pocket, we're gonna have you do something. <laughs> we're gonna do a giveaway, we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna do some stuff. I got we're you, we're gonna do some stuff. I got you. Jordan Brand literally released the same shoe, but those still go for money with the logo on it. Are you kidding me? What, where are these right now? I have how, no much idea. Are they, how much are these worth? I don't know, but low key, now I'm seeing them, I kind of miss these. <laughs> yeah right oh my god look anytime i see something like this it haunts me what is this oh no way bruh i don't know if i saw these would you just get these recently holy crap They're definitely after you were last year bro this is literally a grail i got something to get him super this, excited i'm bro i this i'm speechless you know how long i've been wanting to see do you know what this is mina is it a Drake shoe? Yes, this is a Drake. Uh, Lou Williams wore this exact shoe too. Remember when he played for Raptors? He busted these out with the red bottom. Why was every Drake PE good, but all the ones that came out were whatever? Yeah, yeah I know. Wow, this is freaking beautiful. Wow, you got me with this one. I love these. If they bring these back out, I will buy these. Yeah, it's like SF. I still want to wow. go up with you when you go up north, so I can go to that uh, your, the restaurant. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got yeah, it. that's okay. My dad man. opened up a new one in Walnut Creek. Wow, bro, this shoe is so sick. I love that tie-dye. I've seen these before, but I don't know if you've seen them in person or not, but... Bro, I had those. Did you have these? I had them. How much are they worth now? What'd you do with it? I sold them. For how much? Like... 2000 shut the f there's no At least i'm not the only one throwing f-bombs on the video <laughs> oh my god there's no way these go for that much now are you kidding me are you serious i literally had these and i wore them and then i sold them because i they were too big on me Whoa. i got them from mickey mickey see, got them for me see i would have done that trade <laughs> and i would have been okay with it what the hell this is ladies and gentlemen my biggest regret i gotta um, i gotta go back and find that video i had that shoe like nobody cared about that shoe <sighs> what size is this too this is way too big for me bro i want this shoe so bad they'll never release this and have like the translucent bottom even if they do a purple jordan 4 the, the back of the tab and on the insole the owl bro <laughs> this shoe is crazy in price That's probably just, you know, one look there's a difference too you see that there's two versions one is a white yeah. midsole one of, this one i don't in my opinion this one's ugly i don't like that one. i like the i love the white midsole 
Like there's even purple ones that have the all black midsole, but yeah. the white midsole is so fire. <laughs> these were like made for MJ. They only made like one in each size. Wow. PJ wants these bad. Need them no more. He's not on the Rockets. He doesn't need rocket color. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. He'll be he'll be playing on any team. Yeah. And put this on. Damn, that's nice, bro. This is low key like a raging bull. That's I think this is like you know the, the time they did the Toro anyway, and they did the uh, that that red gold alternate and then uh the other shoe was the the olympic shout out to kelly Ubre, the fam tell him to get some w's for us man <laughs> yeah Damn, i got your name on there and everything that's yep. a sick fair the scotty scotty came in scotty pippen oh really no mm -hmm. way that's signed by him that's fire and it's like the most hyped up tempo too yeah and that's... he gets no money from from these shoes no way yeah she's pissed because his name is technically his name's not, not on, on it. it yeah because it's a shoe before the pippin one the but he's an amazing of... guy he's yeah. like really cool super cool dude this one I, do you remember the story on this maybe we didn't even talk about this because it was kind of maybe hidden before you know this is the flu game yeah right? of course i like fumbling this is the flu game <laughs> if you look at these numbers it's actual pe and if you look at it and match it up with the pair that was sold on the auction that he won the flu game this is the backup locker room pair so it's like the spare shoe yeah crazy right yeah that's yeah. sick compare these to an original uh bread jordan 12 yeah and they're totally different i mean the numbers themselves so it's kind of cool like a cool novelty i don't know what that's worth now the gloves this should have been a championship season <laughs> unbelievable right bro i'm dude so i was pissed. there i was there that was my first finals man Look dude i was that. in i was like literally in tears like what is going on here yeah that was how are you one. getting so smashed it's also a futura and this has like the euros and money all over it yeah all the world currency on it how much are these worth like 60 grand 50 grand <laughs> oh my god these in the Paris's are like top Bro. SPs. But they did a, a Kobe costume. I have one. Do you have these? I have another one. The one that doesn't have the material. Oh, yeah. Perfect that, pair gifted it to me. This one is like the super promo one with the actual Kobe material. Like a Mine's Kobe. a sample too. Yeah. Mine has a sample tag and everything. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is the Kobe collab. So they made it like like a Kobe but 6. Yeah. But it's a, a skate shoe. Eric Austin. That's so cool. Yeah. Because Kobe was like, he liked the other types of sports. He wasn't just basketball, like yeah. soccer skating like he respected everything all right guys so we literally spent the last three and a half hours in uh project blitz it went by quick i'm telling you every time i come here it's just literally i could spend the whole day in here but we gotta go and we saw the vault we saw the regular warehouse uh, i don't know if you want to promote anything anything you guys you want to tell to the audience about project blitz and what you guys got going on well what you gotta understand is project blitz is a curated collection so you're gonna see like literally everything that you can imagine on all the big apps and stuff but here you're going to see something that we actually like put together and curated for what we feel we want to offer to everybody that's kind of like the difference mm -hmm. right we're going to have a store opening on la brea in hollywood this year really good spot like close to like undefeated and stone island and all those it's going to be an amazing like retail experience like no other definitely check out the shop projectblitz.com yeah. the ig at project blitz and of course yours truly yep. ocean style yep, of course we'll write it on the screen i'm sure there's gonna be like really like die hard collectors that saw some stuff in the vault y'all gotta hit him up directly like that stuff's not on the website right like the vault stuff is like well it will be when you know once we actually okay. open up the the store we're gonna like launch everything out there at the same time this is like many years in the making i know like some of some of the, your viewers have probably been around. They've probably seen it like in the past and we were supposed to like launch a lot of things and we only trickled things out. But yeah. right now we're going to launch a bomb like at, at that time. So he's told me crazy. some things that we can't talk about, but yo, Project Blitz got some crazy stuff coming up. But yeah, we'll link the website, Instagram, his Instagram all down below. Always a blessed, blessed time to come in here and, and check things out and just hold certain shoes. So I'll definitely be back. Perfect. Glad to have you back, brother. Thank you, it's brother. It's been a while. Appreciate you. We'll see you guys on the next one, y'all. Peace. Thank you.